Mr. Vic. Hello, bro. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm I'm so fine. You know, you know why I'm fine. You know. Why are you fine? We are talking about women's world cup. <laughs> All right. Uh, talking about the women's world cup, the under 20 women's world cup, which is obviously around the corner, is here already, and. Uh, uh, we are, of course, not only passionate about African football, but both for the male and the female. That is why Football Intel is always at your doorstep to give you analysis of these wonderful matches. And, of course, we'll be following it. We have four African countries represented in the Women's Under-20 World Cup, and we will be talking about them. So we just want to give a brief introduction into these games and uh, how these teams will fare and, of course, what to expect. All right, uh, so, Mr. Victor, quick, a quick one. Let's talk about the African teams participating in this under-20 World Cup for the women's uh, wing. So, uh, what do you have to say? Okay. Um, we're expecting um, a festival. A festival of football from these young, beautiful African ladies that are going forth to represent the continent of Africa. A continent filled with talents. Both men and women. Mm. Yeah. So this competition is starting in just a matter of days, and uh, we here on Football Intel, we're going to bring it to you as it is hot. It's going to be a challenging one, I bet you. This is, you know, on this channel, we challenge ourselves because uh, these games will be coming midnight, Nigerian time. You know, it's played, being played in Colombia or more. The time zones between <laughs> the... Um, South America and Nigeria and Africa or more, it doesn't go so, so well. But then we are here to give it to you raw and we are here to give it to you acid day hot. So, four nations, four beautiful, four nations that are known for good football will be representing Africa. Ah, my brother, something good is about to happen. Yes, no African nation has ever ever carried the gold of the under-20 Women's World Cup. But I have hopes. Say I have hopes. Mm -hmm. I have hopes. Say I have hopes. I have hopes. Do you really have hopes? Mm -hmm. I have hopes. I have hopes. Reason. Because, uh, yeah, let me start with Nigeria. Nigeria is going with a vibrant squad. Nigeria is going with history. Not just the squad, but with history. Because Nigeria has, among all African nations, have the number of appearances in the Under-20 Women's World Cup. And not just appearing. They've been able to make it to have the bronze. Nigeria has touched the bronze of this uh, tournament, making it to, into several semi-finals and uh, just having fun, okay? Unfortunately, um, I think it was, in, it was in 2014 that they were able to get this uh, bronze, but uh, I would say that uh, they've made their mark. And mind you, Nigeria, when it comes to women's football, I would say that Nigeria is doing is doing well. In fact, if you even come to the one we say, oh, come on, what is happening to the men football? Nigerian women football are doing well. When you, when you go back to start, when you go by starts, okay, they are doing really, really well, okay? Mm -hmm. So we are hoping that uh, they'll come in, they'll come in and uh, show what they are made up of. The list is out. The girls are already in Colombia. But yes, there are also some... Uh, will I say some friction happening here on there because of the list, because of one particular sweet lady out there, good player, good footballer, the footballer that is going to make her mark. But the question is, why wasn't she invited to the under-20? But she's so, so young. She's still young, okay? She's not up to um, 18, or maybe she's 18 in a few, in few days. Her name is uh, Taiwo Afolabi. That lady is a good, that young lad is a good footballer. And people are coming on, oh, come on, why didn't you include her in the under 20? Well, that is for the coach to decide. I'm not the coach. The coach is his team. If the team fails, uh, he's part of the failure. So keeping that aside, um, let's also note that uh, um, our brothers just by the corner will be joining. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Ghana. Oh, 
But unfortunately for Ghana, I'm not here to lash Ghana, please. Oh. Please. Oh. But unfortunately for Ghana, they have been coming to the this day, I think there's this seven seven for seven times mm. they've been participating. Mind you, uh, the under twenty World Cup started in two thousand and two. Okay, but they and it it happens every two two years, every even year. Okay, Ghana has been there qualifying, qualifying, coming into the game, but unfortunately, Ghana has, if my memory will help me, has never made it past the group stage. Mm. Considering out of the whole time they have been in the in the under twenty World Cup, they've considered forty nine goals, scoring fifteen. Mm. In fact, at a particular year, they considered nineteen goals in three games. Mm. But then, um, I believe they are more prepared because this is not just about taking slots that other nations should take. We know that Zambia, they are a good side. South Africa also a good side when it comes to the women's football, but I just I just pray um, because we want we want Africa to succeed, so I just pray that one side of if oh, something has to be, I'm just positive guy, I'm just positive. So I hope that Ghana will represent us and represent uh, Africa very well, just like Morocco. Morocco on their own has never has never made it into the under 20 World Cup. This is their first time, but we understand that Morocco as a nation plays good football. Mm. We saw what happened during the Olympics. We saw what happened during the World Cup. These guys are good. We know that they have a very good football management out there in Morocco, and uh, we just wish them well. They have never, this is their first time coming to the under 20, but we know that they will should, they should be able to at least, yes, it's their first try. I'm not expecting so much from them because this is their first time. But then I hope they will be representing Africa the right way. You know, on this channel, we support the Moroccan football mm. so, so well. Yeah, and yeah. Thank you guys for what you do to this channel. Then lastly, Cameroon. Cameroon are the current defending champions of the African Under-20 Championship. That's to tell you that they are the number one representative. In fact, I think the pressure should be on them than in Nigeria. Because for you to be the number one in Africa, a lot is being expected of you. Mm. And I am also hopeful that they will make their mark as the number one when it comes to the under-20 football in Africa. Mm. So, in all, we're expecting good game coming. Um, we also understand that uh, you see these three nations talking about the United States of America, Germany. I think they are tied at three times winners of this uh, tournament. But then you cannot also erase the power of the Japanese under 20 teams. Under 20 teams from Japan, they are doing so, so well. Mm -hmm. And lastly, North Korea. North Korea has been good when it comes to the under 20. Having carried this for two times, two times champions of the under 20. So we're expecting a party. So come on, girls. Colombia, you have it all. We are supporting you. We are rooting for you. All you four nations from Africa. Football Intel will be here and analyzing things and supporting you, putting our prayers together to make sure that you come back home with victory. Bless you. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Victor. Um, of course, I wish the girls luck and good old luck out there representing Africa as a continent. And hopefully, one of these medals will be won by African teams. Okay, if you're watching this video for the very first time, you're welcome. This is Football Intel, a short blog when it comes to African football. Please do well to subscribe to this channel. And of course, notification bell just beside uh, the subscribe button, hit on it, and of course, select all notifications and be up to date. Never miss a post from this wonderful channel. Of course, just like we said, we'll be following the matches of this Under-21 World Cup for the African women team. So stay glued to this channel. This is the channel that you'll be getting analysis on every game. So it's an opportunity. 
subscribe now so that you, you will not get to miss anything. And to those of you who are already are subscribers, uh, who I found the just our family members, I say a big thank you to you guys. Shout out to you guys so, so much for the engagement. You know, of course, that we at Football Inter, we preach nothing but love and unity of African football. That is why we do what we do. Thank you for being a part of us. We love you guys. Please don't forget to keep liking, keep sharing. Keep those comments coming. And if you're here to follow us on all our social media handles, please you do so and be up to date with our top-notch content. Remember that you all are also a part of this channel. You are also owners of this channel. You know, it's not just between myself and Mr. Victor. We, we, are, we are happy to have you guys. It's more or less like a family. So your contributions, your support, your advice, and everything is necessary and important for us to move forward as a channel. Remember that we have a vision, which is placing African football on the world map, and we would not relent until that becomes a reality. And of course, thank you because you guys are part of it. We love you. At this juncture, I'm going to be drawing the curtain. I still remain your host of Football Inter, Mr. Dominion Chooks. And of course, doing this beside me is my top-notch African soccer analyst, Mr. Victor Sioku. We both are saying bye for now and African football to, to the, the world. world.